Today is day one of my nine week program. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I don't know if you can tell. It's like 5.15 in the morning here. 5.15, I didn't hit snooze. I laid out my clothes the night before. Like this does not happen. Or I should say this has not happened in a long time. I'm officially six months postpartum as of yesterday. And I just know for me, I need something to like commit to and like have that structure again. And just kind of like regain, I don't know, my mindset and my strength and just feel good. Maybe fit into some of my clothes again. There's a lot that I really want to accomplish with this program and today's just the first day. So I can't wait to do this workout. I already have my pre-workout. I'm waiting for it to like kick in and then I'm going to go downstairs to my garage and work out. I already have my equipment set up. All I'm going to do is press play on the workout. I don't even know what's going to entail today. I just know that I'm excited. I'm ready. I sit on the scale this morning and although it was a hard number to see, I know this is my starting place and I know that I can only get better from here and I know that every step of the way documenting this is going to be really helpful because I know there's other people out there that whether you are postpartum like me or you are just struggling or you just want to start a new program a new routine maybe you want to lose some weight maybe you just want to tone up maybe you just need this for your mindset i know for me just having something to focus on is so key for my mindset and even at 5 15 in the morning it's not easy baby is asleep right now but getting up and taking care of me first is going to make me a better mom a better human a better friend a better spouse all of those things so i just checked in with my little accountability group just to let them know like i'm awake i'm excited and i don't know why but like i took a selfie I posted there, I was like, I'm so excited for this program and I feel, I feel excited and I feel emotional about it because this is the first program that I'm committing to after being pregnant and I loved being pregnant. I um, was super active during my pregnancy and I'm so blessed that I have my little baby boy, but body pregnant right now. I'm still not feeling great in my clothes. I'm still wearing the clothes that I wore when I was pregnant. I just want to show you. I'm wearing um, these pants. And these are size large. And I so desperately love these pants. But I also want to let them go. So. This is where. I'm really ready. I'm really ready. <laughs> Day one is officially done. I wrote down my numbers that I tracked my paper onto the low dry erase board. So I will be tracking this through the entire program to see how like I get better with like my cardio or like my strength or even like these little, these little bands over here. I can go like into a higher resistance band. So this is my day one. This is where I'm starting. This is my new beginning. This is my start of my journey. I'm really excited. I feel so good. Now I'm about to tackle the day and I have a little stretch to do tonight. So I'll see you back here soon. Just took my my four photos. This is where I am today. On day one, today is January 4th, 2021, and I am starting the 90 program. This is where I am today. 100 and 185 pounds. So I'm excited to see my journey along this. I am excited to see my progress as it relates to like my strength, my cardio, how I fit into my clothes. Let's do the dang thing. I'm getting ready to start day two. Whew, my legs are sore <laughs> this morning. Like yesterday I knew that the workout was hard, but I didn't start to feel like tight. And I was actually gonna be sore until like last night. I was putting away stuff in the kitchen after dinner and I was like, yep, your girl's sore. And then I forgot, I forgot to film it um, last night for this little, little vlog, vlog video, but I will um, probably film it today or tomorrow that in the evenings they have these little like controlled stretches that you're supposed to do before bed. So it was only like eight minutes. You just like target the areas that you work that day in your workout and you just stretch before bed, decompress, wind down a little bit. So I did that last night and that helped so much. So I got a good night's sleep finally. Last night I did not sleep um, the night prior, but this past night I did. Felt so good. I'm about to get in this workout. I think today's workout is cardio. What do you mean by? I think it's cardio. My Apple Watch also doesn't know what I'm talking about. Oh wait, actually I think it says day two is chest and triceps. Oh no. I think I thought maybe it was cardio. <sighs> Yep, I'm in for it today. Here we go. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm back again. 
It's day three. Last moving box is still behind me. <laughs> I just finished. Today's was a cardio workout. It's the one that I was expecting yesterday. I did today. It was only like 20 minutes of cardio, which was actually like refreshing that I was like, oh my gosh, I can do this. And I felt like prepared for it. And I feel like I did good. But I also, it's weird. I feel like I could even do more, <laughs> which is weird. She mentioned that there's like these little 10 minute bonus exercises that you can do. So I'm gonna look for it. I don't know what's gotten over me that I'm now motivated to potentially do a bonus workout. But considering I've only worked out for 25 minutes, including the warm up and the cool down, I feel like I could do it. So here goes nothing, doing 10 minute bonus on week one. Oh man, favorite ab burnout. <sighs> Here we go. Apparently this 10 minute core workout that I decided to do uses this ball the entire time. So I don't know what I'm in for. Um, I feel like my core strength is not as strong as it used to be, post baby, but I'm doing it. In shorts, let's go. <laughs> Am I doing this? I'm wrapping up day five. So today's Friday and I'm about to just head to bed. I've actually really been enjoying the controlled stretches at night. We do them every single night after the workout days. It's just a really great way to like decompress, relax, and then like get ready for bed for the next day. So I only have one more workout for this week. I can't believe how fast it's been going. I'm really proud of myself. I've been sticking with it. We're moving this week. It's a lot, but we're doing it. I just finished the day five workout of week one. And I'm smiling because I am so <laughs> freaking proud of myself. I think I said this last night whenever I was going to bed and I honestly couldn't even sleep that well last night. I was just like, we have a lot of moving and packing to do this weekend, frankly, for our move next week. And also it's like the final day of week one, like there's a rest day tomorrow. So I don't know, I kind of just like wanted to get it out of the way before I just like tackle all these <laughs> other moving boxes. I just wanted to take some time for me. So the rest of the house isn't even up yet. Well, my dog is. Dunn came down to say hi to me. So he's down here in the garage with me and we just finished the first week of workouts and I'm really proud of myself. I've been feeling really good in my clothes. I've been feeling like I've been fueling my body with better foods, which frankly also just makes you feel better. And I know like the weights that I selected this week, like they challenged me now, but I can only imagine what I'll be doing next week and the week to come. I like track all my weights down here on a piece of paper. So every single move, I just like write down what I'm doing. And so the next week when I do some of these like workout moves or even some of these compound moves, I have a good idea of like where I started and also where I can improve. So this has been really helpful. I'm gonna go upstairs now and make my post-workout. That's been helping with like the soreness of my muscles. Like I'm still a little bit sore, but I know I I'd be like so sore if I didn't take that. So I'm gonna go make that now and uh, take a shower and then get this day on the road. But I will check in tomorrow, probably just to uh, maybe record some of my stats. Week one, in the books, baby, let's go. Since week one is officially over, I thought I would also just kind of do like a little live, little progress check. This is a different outfit than I wore whenever I kicked off last week, but you kind of still get the gist. On the scale, I'm down almost four pounds, 3.9 pounds I'm officially down. I haven't done my measurement updates yet, but I will do that soon and um, share with you guys what the updates on that are. And then here, it's just like how I just feel so much leaner. You know how you just like when you feel better, like I don't really care what the measurements and the scale says, as long as I feel better and I feel so good in this outfit, like that is all that honestly matters to me. But I just want to give you a visual too if you're a visual person. I can kind of compare this side by side for myself too. Look, sometimes video is helpful just to kind of see more than sometimes photos or certain angles. Like this is where we're at. Week two today is January 11, 2021. Yeah, week one, week one, done, week one, week one. Done. And I should also say, I know I have a long way to go. And I know this is just the beginning for me and I'm just really excited for the next eight weeks. I just can't wait to keep documenting this, keep sharing my journey. Uh, you can kind of be along for the journey with me. So thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. Maybe it inspires you to do it too. If you want to do it too, you can email me. I'd love to work with you. I have a bunch of ladies doing this program. We can do it together. If I can do this, <laughs> if I can do this six months postpartum, literally about to move in 24 hours, like you can do this too.
this food is family tape measure. It was underneath my bathroom uh, cabinet. Like I said, we're moving, so everything's just like everywhere. Anyways, I found it. I just did my measurements after the shower and I'm down six inches from last week. Most notably, I'm down like two inches in <laughs> my chest. I'm down an inch and a half on my waist, another like half inch or inch here and there, everywhere else. But these measurements are so helpful. Like I was saying, like the weight and even the measurements don't necessarily matter as much to me. When I put my side by side photos together, it's just crazy. The change that I saw just shows that it's working. Just shows that when I stay committed to a workout, to nutrition, to my water, to checking with my community, like it works. For the past two months, I've been trying to like just do the workouts and not these specific workouts, but just workouts in general. And I wasn't getting the results I was looking for. I wasn't taking care of my nutrition. I was just like eating whatever I want. A lot of takeout, a lot of DoorDash, and it was delicious, but I felt like crap. And I feel like even when I put my side-by-side -side photos together, you can see it in my face. Like after just one week, you can see it just like, like my skin looks clearer. I just feel happier. I look happier. Like I just like you can see it. This this really motivates me taking progress photos and measurements and all that like it motivates me to like want to keep going because i can see the progress already it doesn't need to be drastic but i see the progress i'll be documenting week two and uh, week one is officially now it's officially in the books